So um, events, I'll come to you and tell me a little bit just about as we build this and as we work our way through it, the importance of maintaining uh, our expectations and how we structure those. You know, expectations in my journey has been one of those things where a lot, most of it has been negative. So my own internal expectation of my own belief of I should be doing this, or a lot of it's keeping up with the Joneses. So <clears throat> when you think about, or when I think about, you know, high school, oh, I should be here or I'm not there. So then I'm, you know, here or, or whatever. And usually majority of the time, it's never above, it's always below. So then, you know, that adds to these, these, these internal self doubts of not being good enough. And then, um, and then you go to college and then you graduate and then you realize, wow, as you evolve in this thing, like all that stuff is all BS. And, yeah. you know, um, the real world doesn't work that way. And sure, it's nice to be nice to have gone to an, uh, you know, an Ivy League or, you know, again, it's about the culture. It's about the people you want to keep around and it's all the great, but, you know, today it's, it's like people don't treat in, 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 in theory, people don't treat you any differently based off of where you all these other things too. So the internal expectation that, that you hold your bar higher, um, you know, that's a belief system that comes in from, from past, from our parents and from other parents. And, you know, it's um, part of it's really, part of it's good because it, it's, it's about setting goals and striving and pushing yourself. Um, but a lot of it, a lot of it in my book can be bad because it's, um, unfortunately not constructive it's not positive it's it's toxic and so that's the piece to me where you know whatever you have uh if it's centered in love and support and kindness and being honest with yourself and being kind to yourself um you know it's uh it's it's like would you talk to your internal self the way you talk to your kids you know or someone you love and that, that mindset shift of change, it's like, wow, uh, the internal dialogue that one has is actually not very kind. Um, interestingly, going back to the no, <laughs> I think sometimes we remain so busy that we don't stop to actually ask ourselves, what are our expectations? Like, mm. what are the expectations? Um, when it comes to other people, expectations towards other people, I think lots of times um, you can pay attention and listen. Even before people show you by action, you can actually listen if you listen more than talk. And then they're going to oftentimes subconsciously tell you what you can expect. You know, there, sometimes there are people that are so smooth that they can conceal it, but they can, they usually will tell on themselves even before you can see the action. You watch and then usually the action will follow up their words. I think lots of times we don't want to hear what they're saying because we're posing upon them what we need from them rather than what they're saying they can give, what they're saying they will do. And it, 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 lots of times people will be like, well, she's a dog or he's a dog or, well, no, they shared with you already. If you listen, they've already shared what they're about before they showed what they're about. But we weren't listening because we were wanting it to be something else and not necessarily expecting it, but there was something in us that needed it to be. Not expected, but internally we needed it to be something different than what they said and when their actions show or and when their actions are in alignment with their words we want to act like we didn't hear it like they're like we want to act like we didn't hear it when they said it from the go um and it kind of goes back on the end and to the inside our expectations from our, ourselves sometimes we don't want to hear ourselves and we say yes or we say no, but ourselves is telling us, literally ourselves is telling us what we can expect from ourselves. 
but we don't want to hear it. <laughs> yep. We don't want to hear yeah. ourselves. And then we're upset or disappointed in ourselves. When yeah. ourselves literally told us what ourselves is not or will not or would never or don't have any intention of doing. But we didn't listen before. Yeah, yeah we, we didn't hear ourselves. <laughs> Personal experience dealing with me and what I've learned from uh, dealing with other people. And then what I've witnessed with people interacting amongst each other. A lot of times we hear the person says it and we don't hear it or li want to listen. We, we listen, but we don't want to necessarily hear it and internalize what they're expressing. And then a lot of times we'll tell ourselves, ourselves will tell ourselves really what's about to happen, what's about to go down and what's not going to go down. And we lie to ourselves about what we can expect. But usually we, ourselves will tell ourselves exactly what we can expect from ourselves. Well, first and foremost, expectations are a, it's an everyday part of your, uh, part of the journey. It's, it's, uh, I think expectations have to be steeped in some type of reality. Uh, I mean, we can all, you know, I can tell you, Hey, I want to be the president of the United States, even though I really don't. Um, but that's a little far fetched that, you know, I, you know, I'd be the next Obama, but I think real realistically, you've got to sit back and look at, and this is part of being self-aware, um, understanding where you are in the life cycle, um, understanding, you know, if you, if you, you know, setting, um, I said that earlier about setting goals, but more importantly, setting realistic goals. So um, you can set yourself up for failure. You can set yourself up for success. Um, you know, it's, I, I also hearken to another word, pressure. I know we've heard the old expression, pressure either either makes diamonds or bust pipes. And it's, it's such a truism. And you've got to look at yourself and say, if I put too much, you know, I used to be famous for putting all this pressure on top of my head. And it, it was just a recipe for implosion. And I got to the part as I grew and I, and I'm on, obviously I'm on a, I'm on a continual growth pattern is that resetting those expectations on a, you know, sometimes it's daily, sometimes it's weekly, sometimes it's monthly. You've got to, you've got to take your sample sizes and actually work with them and say, okay, so I did this and I, and I got this result. I did this and I got this result. I did this and I got nothing. I did this and I got a whole lot of negativity. And you, you, I think as individuals, we have the ability to set our own table. If you're, if we're conscious of that, what that table is, and more importantly, what that proverbial meal that we're trying to serve is. So it really requires you to adjust, readjust, reassess, um, reevaluate the whole nine. And it's, it's a, you know, it's a constantly a constant moving part that has to be fed and oiled and massaged. Uh, sometimes it just needs to be shut off. Um, and it, it's a, it's a lot of work at the end of the day, but if you are committed, you have, you have a good, you have a better, better than average chance of succeeding in whatever it is you're trying to do. But the other part is we've got to give ourselves some grace. We've got to give ourselves some kindness. We have to, we have to love ourselves. You can't expect the rest of the world to love you. One thing I've learned is everybody is not going to love you no matter how lovable you believe you are. Cause I believe I'm lovable. But I realize that everybody, I you. everybody can't love me, you know what I mean? In the manner that I want to be loved, you take the bits and the pieces and you cobble it together sometimes. So it's not a perfect science. Never has been, never will be.